Hey, hey. It's all right, come on. I'll get it, I'll get it. Hey, look at me, look what's going on. I've messed everything up. All right. None of this is your fault, Linda, OK? You didn't ask for the Wicked Witch to come and destroy your life. Now, running this place on your own, it's a lot to take on, but Sharon's going to be here to help you soon, yeah? I've been lying to Sharon. She's not my new partner. Well, Linda, I don't understand, because Sharon's practically measuring up for new cars. I never meant for it to get this far. I've had another buyer in place for a while now, but they've been working on getting the cash together. And I was so worried about losing the Vic. You know, it's Ollie and Annie's home that I... I kept Sharon hanging on. I just need to tell her now. That's that's what I need to well, do. Well, well, Linda, OK, OK, Look, but if it's, if it's not Sharon, then who is it? Here she is. This is Linda. And the Vic is the latest chapter in the Panasar story. To mark our new friendship. Oh. <laughs> Gorgeous. But, um, could I have a word with you both in private? Our associates are waiting, so if you could just... I've decided to go with another buyer. I should have told you earlier, but, um, my other investor needed a, a few weeks to get the money together. Right, but we've put plans in place. I presume that investor is Sharon. I'd rather not say. Yeah, you can keep your gift, Linda. We're done here. I can't go into partnership with you, Sharon. I'm sorry, I've taken another offer. What? When? This morning. Uh, they needed an answer straight away. I don't understand. The friendships can be ruined when people go into business. We've been talking about this for months. Look, we can draw up a plan. Keep business and friendship separate. That wouldn't guarantee anything. So who is this new buyer? Hmm? They want it all totally private until the paperwork's been signed. I don't believe us. I'm so sorry. Well, coming in at a humble second place, I'd like to congratulate the new partner of the Vic. I thought you shot them down ages ago. I needed a backup in case you couldn't get the money. I couldn't risk being tied to Janine. Keeping secrets already. It's a great way to start a partnership. Well, it looks like I'm not going to be a partner either. Apparently, Linda got a better offer this morning. This morning? Really? She told us she's been waiting for the new owner to get the money together for weeks. You told me this morning. Weeks? You've known for weeks you just lied to my face. How could you? You know, I just sold half my gym to Phil and for what? Nothing. Why couldn't you have just told me before? I tried. I... Well, not hard enough. You're pathetic. Never trust a drunk. Or an ex-drunk. I'm going to forgive that, because you're upset. You're going to forgive me? You are unbelievable. I don't want to fall out with you over this. Then call the new partner and tell them the deal's off. I have done so much for you for so long. I will not make that mistake again. Sharon, no. please. You are a sad, weak woman, Linda. We are done. Well, I hope the champagne's on ice. Mum! What are you doing here? Well, I thought it was time the Vic met its new queen. Mate! You can't drive down here! Pogs again. Hey, up, Bill. Trimpey! Winston! Let's have a word with this plonker. Mate! Mate, you are reversing. Here we are. My sat nav said this is the quickest way. Yeah, it's the quickest way to a good kicking. You, you don't get no, it. Mate, I... You don't get it, right? And you ain't coming down here neither. No, I mean, look, we got all that stock on the street. Yeah. It's market. I've got my cat in her back. She's been knocked down. But the nearest vet's up on the high street and they're expecting me. My kids are going to be gutted if anything happens to her. 
Right, like, come on then, let's move it, people. Get your stuff out of the way. Right, come on then, everyone, let's make some space. Sit cat coming through. Cheeky git. Don't tell me I ran over it. Them tasks cost a fortune. No, no. It got broke when I shifted my stock for your non-existent dead cat. Sick cat. Now, listen, I would have I would have done it, right, for a good cause. But not just so you get a shortcut. Okay, so how much was it? 20 quid. So how comes the sticker on the bottom says 10? Do you know what? Let's call it a score anyway, shall we? Make up for earlier. Tell you what, tell the rest of the traders to meet me in the pub at the end of the day. Are you gonna make it up to them as well? Celebration I've got planned. My treat. Hey, that was a 20 I gave you. You just give me change from 10. You're having a laugh, aren't you? Okay, I'll prove it. Shall I do a lot of cash transactions? Start my day, I mark up all my notes, put a little stamp in the corner. Comes in handy when people can't count. Huh. Take a look, you just put one of mine in there. Right. Oh, yeah. What can I say? Here's your change, that'd be Andy. You ain't seen this one. What? Let me see if I got this right. Laughing boy over there comes in half hour ago, gives you that mark 20, gets change. Then this chancer rocks up, kicks off because you short changed her. Spends the old mark 20 meeting. Liberty. That lot running this scam all over London right now. Word to the wise. Whatever you want. Order at the bar, Tracy's running the tab. And if anybody feels like a smoke outside later, help themselves. I'm not talking no bargain basement need. Who is this geezer? What's she doing here? Who cares? Birthday, baby bro. Hey, Frey. Well, say something, eh? I'm out of here. Dad, wait up. He did tell you to pack light. He didn't tell us we were taking the tube. Can you hold Tyson for a second? Let him walk. Oh, but it'll get cold feet, won't you, baby? Girls. Enough. I like it. Papa East them booze are. Yeah, old school. Old school. Yes, who are you? George. George Knight. Elaine's fella. You know what this place means to me. Once you know George and the girls, things will change. But you mean they've come along for the ride and all? They are excellent barmaids and lovely girls. <gasps> uh, well, Anna's a delight and uh, Gina will grow on you. <laughs> yeah, like mould. They're not staying, all right? And neither is he. He could be a con man, for all you know. And um, what exactly would I be conning you out of? My livelihood, for starters. <laughs> I've had a look at your accounts, love, and trust me, there's nothing lively about this place. You're losing money, hand over fist. In six months, you're going to have a pile of debt and a pub you won't be able to flog for love and the money. Business will pick up. In the past year, 400 pubs have closed their doors. Without my expertise, you're going to be number 401. He worked miracles in Marbella. And I worked wonders in Wolford. <laughs> I don't think so. Because this is my pub. Yeah, I can't talk right now. I will call you back. Morning. Right. Go get your bags. Hi. 
Have a second. Okay. Yeah, Genuine. Absolutely genuine. That's good. Mrs. was telling me you used to box. <laughs> she had me missus. She thought I was talking about. She did. You're always going on about yeah, it. Amateur stuff, schoolboy stuff. You know who this is, didn't you? George Nightmare Knight, British champion. Well, you, you defended your title, what, three, four times? Four times. Ah, Nightmare Knight, the poster. Yeah, that's when I saw it. You were cool. <laughs> Cost me a few quid that night. Yeah, that's what happens when you bet against me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what brings you around here, then? Me and me missus is going to be money in the pub. The Vic? So are you Elaine's fellow or something? Yeah, that's one. Does Linda know? She does now. <laughs> hey, George, you ever thought about getting back in the ring? Yeah, I'd like to see that happen. Yeah. Well, never say never. <laughs> How about you, fella? You're a fine man. You've lost me. Well, from what I hear, you like intimidating women. How about fair and fight? Me, you, outside, if you like. Well, my baby was home, but too many ghosts. You ghosts really want to find yourselves. This is the place to be. So what are we toasting? Fresh stuff. Maybe you ain't been there, have you? What are you on about? Well, my briefs told me that the old bill had put a stop on everything to do with your ex. What? Why? Well, it means there's, there's more of this than, than what you've been telling me. I've been straight with you on everything. Absolutely level. This is private. So nothing to do with me, then? I told you. I need to know who I'm going into business with. I don't want any surprises down the line. And after the old Bill Blanks is over here, my brief asked some questions, some contacts she's got in Spain. About what? About what happened to your missus. Did she find something out? I mean, is Rose all right? I mean, she's not. Listen, from what Richie's been told, she's fine. Where is she? What's she doing? Why hasn't she been in touch with us, with her girls? All the Spanish police would say is that, is that she's got a new life now, and that's how she wants it to stay. As far as her old life's concerned, she... she don't want to know. I thought your brief was just checking to see if I had any bother with the tax. I didn't realise you were poking around in my personal life as well. That is way out of order. I can't do business with a chancer who does things like that. So, if that's why you're waiting... It ain't. Although that was for Linda's ears. She don't need to know the full SP. All she needs to know is that, well, your ex is still alive and you ain't done nothing to her. What do you mean, the full SP? Do you find out something else? What I said about the Spanish police was right. Up to a point. Now they, they did their checks. Every time they did, they hit a brick wall. No matter how much they dug, the, the same story came back every time. I don't know who you think you were shacked up with for all them years, but she won't who she said she was. She was spinning you a line, mate. There's no one with the name Rose Knight with the details you gave me ever existed.
Landed on your feet all right? Not bad. Not bad at all. How did it drive? How do I get behind the wheel? Neither of you so much as breathe in the bonnet without my saying so, yeah? I'm not the boy racer. Because you can't move faster than the sloth chasing the mate. Yeah, well, you I've can't... been here less than a minute and you're at it again. Leave him alone, Jigbeard. Me? Sorry, I'll get your bags. Gee, 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 gee. You have in my room. You mean you won't put your names in a hat and you lost? <laughs> <laughs> so long as I'm nowhere near Foghorn. I don't snore. Is it any wonder he can't keep a girlfriend more than a week? No. <laughs> anyway, it's not as if it's for long. Longer than we thought. Yeah. Come on, let's get inside, oh, yeah? Stop your fussing. I'm quite capable of putting one foot in front of the other. Of course. Sorry. Oh! Seeing as you offered. <laughs> Uh, oh, can you move that suitcase before someone breaks their neck? Uh, Mum, say hello to our new neighbour. Oh, please, call me Suki. Oh, I'm Jean. Lovely to meet you. Jean lives in the house we bought. Oh, if you have any problems, don't bother with this lot. Come straight to the organ grinder. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Leave that. Help Jean home with her shopping. Oh, no, there's no need. It's all part of the service. Body de Nalai. And you, Kirit, can you get my bag from the car? Of course, mate. And you, go easy with me. I'm not on wheels. Excuse me, uh, we're looking for... What's it called again? You dozy moo. Albert Square. Of course it is. Sorry, um, Albert Square? Oh, right, yeah. 100 yards up under the bridge. You can't miss it. Oh, thanks very much. Shop, shipping. I think you'll be well taken care of, guys. It's not me coming to live here, is it? Stop winding her up. Yeah, but I ain't, am I? Is it another club? No, that's snooker on. Beachy. Are we nearly there yet? It's about another five or six miles, Mo. Oh, we need to go in now. Well, you get your head down, girl. Get yourself a bit of kip, yeah? It's a busy market, I don't think. Here, Mo, there's a long direct. What? <laughs> there's a long direct. You're going to be in your elephant. No, I still can't hear ya. And a boozer. Full ass. Maybe you will marry you after all then, Lynn. Oh, well, no, the market ain't working. Look, the curtains are all closed. Those bunch of beggars are still in bed. Well, you'll be at home all winter, Gary. <laughs> right, what number was it? 23. Is that a cab? Where have they got to? Not a cock up to begin here. So, what do we think? Oh, it's not exactly Hampstead, is it? How are we all going to fit in that? Just have to be free in a bed, won't it? Oi! What's going on? Just stopped off for a cup of tea, Mo. We'll be back in 20 minutes. Oh! Where are they? Marvellous. We can't hang about, you know. I thought we'd get the van back for 12. It's another load yet. Where are we? Welcome to Slater Mansions, Mo. Oh! Oh, it's lovely. Who's going to be the first over the threshold? Well, surely it's got to be your nan, eh? Yeah. Mo! Not changed in 30 years. Still the same old dump. <laughs> but not for long, eh? Give us those keys. Three cheers for Her Majesty, who's about to take up formal residence in her new palace. Well I formally declare the new Slater. <laughs> They've only given us the wrong pig in K. Hey, I want to propose a toast. <sighs> not raising a glass to it. Now, we all know Gavin's special qualities. But just for the record, yeah? <sighs> I think I'm going to be sick. Sharon! He was more twisted than your average corkscrew. <laughs> if he was any more barking, we could have entered him in for crafts. Then again? He was the scumbag of all scumbags. May he fry in eternal torment. <laughs> oh, and may the rest of his low-life family join him too. Cheers. Oi! You need to learn a little respect. Oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Just sit there, we 
whiskey. He's had it on his toast with the urn and... Sharon! I don't believe you at times, either. Really? It's weird. Word of the day, that is. No, uh, the window's open. Or maybe you left it like that. No, I... You thinking what I'm thinking? Shh. What am I doing? Well, there's a lot of steam coming out the rears. And there's going to be some very sore knuckles the way they're dragging them along behind them. Apart from that, not a lot. Just give me five minutes, yeah. Even this lot I've got to realise they ain't going to find me by then. Sharon, by the way. Zach. Kathy, so what's your connection to Psycho Sullivan? Oh, yeah, didn't look like you was his grace's fan just now. You don't sound too fond of him neither. Understatement of the century, that is. Which makes it even weirder. Two beautiful sisters here to say goodbye. Oh, I don't believe it. Take it out on that gorgeous old car over there. That's a classic, isn't it? <sighs> XK8. Four litre V8. I restored it myself. You'll need restoring two of this, are you? No, it's all right. It's just a windscreen. And a wing mirror. <laughs> oh. Both of them. OK, they're going in. You better go over there, see if it starts. Cheers. You're welcome. Hang on. You ain't told us how you know Gavin. I never wanted to know him. Who would? Well, were you in business with him or something? <laughs> Worse luck than that. He's my dad. It's my brother. Sorry, Stacey, but it's just not possible right now. Please, Uncle Charlie. You seen the Iron Man? Yeah. Blimey, little Stacey. I ain't seen you since you were about nine. Yeah. Grown up a bit since then. Yeah, I'll do it for you. Yeah, much obliged. So, why is everyone all dressed up then? Because we're off to the cult, so. Is it all that business with little Mo? Mum told me. Couldn't believe it when I heard you'd been sent down for beating him up. Wish I had a dad like you. That's why you're the first person I thought of when social services asked me if there's anyone I could stay with. Social services? I tell you what I don't get. Why was it left to you to go and sort out this geezer? What about that bloke little Mo married? Is he some kind of wimp or something? Really? I think you should answer that. This is uh, little Mo's husband. I've introduced myself a while ago, honey. I couldn't get a word in Edgeway. I'm Stacy. My old man was Charlie's sister's son, but he died when I was just a kid. I never really knew him, which makes Charlie my great uncle. And you really live up to the name, don't you, Uncle Charlie? So where's little Mo then? I ain't seen her for ages. No. None of us have. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit complicated. She's had a baby. Oh, congratulations! He ain't mine. What? Don't tell me she's had a sprog to the Wolford Ripper. Yeah, she's always been cursed when it comes to men. I'll give it a vest, will you? Is it any wonder she don't want to come home? Seeing your ugly mug round every corner, it's enough to put anybody off. That's enough. I don't know why I bother only come round it to see if I can help. Yeah, well, you can help by slinging your hook, and for good. Oh. Never a dull moment round here, is there? Stacy, come. It's exactly as you described it. So we used to live there on the end, and now we live there on the end. Number thirty-one. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so good to finally be on the outside with you. <laughs> you know, no more slamming cell doors. No. Nope. Hmm. No more lights out or inspections. No more communal showers. Unless I can persuade you. You just never stop trying, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You know, you find the one and she agrees to marry you. <laughs> well, I hope you like cold showers alone, because the, uh, the old boiler's packed in there. Oh, I could take a look. You know, these fingers are magic when it comes to getting things turned on. Er. <laughs> uh... Here, look, it's not much, but I had a couple of hundred quid on me when I got arrested, so... You know, for food, or buy the kids something. No, 
You keep it. Or we can take the kids out tomorrow or, or something. They'll like that. Okay. And then just, um, just give me mum a bit of time. Oh, she's protective. That and the fact that she found out we're married from a probation officer. Yeah. Hmm. Have you told the kids about me? Not yet. What will you tell them? I don't know. I'll just keep it vague. You know, I, I can't risk telling them it's a sham just in case they say the wrong thing in front of the probation officer. Yeah, I can't go back. Stacey, I can't. It's not like I'm going to get off lightly either, is it? Look, as far as everyone around here is concerned, apart from my mother, me and you are the real deal. Mm. Do you think it's going to be a problem? No. This lot I used to be doing the unconventional. I just give my mum a couple of days, and the only thing she'll have the ump about is that she never got to throw any confetti. <laughs> You have to get rid of her. What? I don't want her in this house. Why? What, what has she done? Well, oh, three years in prison, tricked you into marrying. Oh, she didn't trick me, Mum. I offered. I've just explained all that to this you. This isn't a discussion, Stacey. Now, I know your heart was in the right place wanting to help her, but you're already lying to your oh, probation oh, officer. Mum, it's hardly a lie. It's a lie. And you've dragged me into it, and everyone else is going to get dragged into it, too, because if you get caught out, goodness knows what will happen to you. Now, you might have had a right old good time in prison with your new hilarious friend, but I have hated every second of you being inside. Now, I am sure that Eve is a great friend and a real laugh, but she is also trouble. And I am sorry, Stacey, but I can't lose you again. So she can stay tonight. And then that's it. No more. Excuse me. Oh, um, sorry, I, I just... Are you Chris? Yes, yes. You're late. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm... I'm Peggy Mitchell. Pleased to meet you, Peggy. Right then, now you're here, I can be on my way. Right then, is there anything you need? Uh, no, I don't think... Oh, Phil! Phil? This is Chris Wright. This is Philip, my oldest. Nice to meet you, Philip. Phil. Phil. Right, uh, you better show us where you want the rest of this stuff. Yeah. Right, then. You've got ten minutes to find your way around. The Chris were out in the hallway, and the cellar's through there on the right. Now, I've just put a float in the till, so you should be OK. You'll find we're a bit short-handed at the moment, but we have advertised for new staff. Right, I I if you've got a problem, you can get me at this number. I'm sorry to throw you in at the deep end. It's not a problem. Right, then. I'll be back as soon as I can. show you where you're going to be living. Living? You might find yourself rattling about a bit on your own up here, <laughs> but I'm sure you'll make yourself comfortable. Here's the kitchen, the bedrooms, the bathroom, and this is your living room. Very nice. So, where's your bags? Oh, they've been sent on. Oh, right. Well, I'll leave you alone to sort yourself out. I'll go and watch the bar for five minutes. Oh, 
I've made up the double bed down there, and there's clean towels in the bathroom. Right. So, well. you make yourself at home. Well, thank you very much, Duchess. Thank you very much. Hello? The, the, the Queen Victoria? Hello? Hello? Yeah, this is Christopher Wright. I'm supposed to be with you today, and I am having the most horrendous time. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, Chris, but there's been a change of plan. You see, we've had, we've had to make other arrangements. Oh, yeah, inconvenient. It may be some, but I'm afraid the job's no longer open. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> What do you think? Do you like it? Oh, you saw a Mitchell, eh? It's different. Coming out! Yeah. Everyone you out! Shut up, please. Out. You're like an angry sheep that grinded everyone up. Yeah. Out. <laughs> Come on. Out. Out. Leave her alone! Out. Don't worry, Out. Shirley. I'm sure you'll be next. You know, peroxide. I get it. I, I really do. Well, up yours, Queen Vic! <laughs> Come on out! Out! And you, out! I haven't finished my drink yet. How many times shall I get out? Come on out! What is that? Where has that come from? You know what? This is no way come to on. treat a lady. Just get How would you know, Shirley? Is there a problem? I just chuck it out of the rubbish. Come on out, Shirley. Out. I wasn't talking to you. You all right? Well, you know her. Everybody, meet the new owner of the Vic. Phil, meet Mick. My brother. Birthday cards are starting to come in. Oh, I hope one of them's got a badge. Well, how are we celebrating our birthday? Celebrating what? You know how 24 will be? Just like 23. Get up in the dark from a single duvet and then for a pittance and usually in the rain get abused by market traders. Yeah, so make this your lucky year then. Well, maybe assistant rain soaked market inspectors are the hottest thing in the dating world. Glass half full, Tam, what? Who's this idiot? Drive round! Drive round! That's right. Look and love. It could just be round the corner. If you could, please. Did you just honk at me? Yeah, I'm trying to drive down the road. <laughs> yeah, you can't, obviously. You want to expand on that, sweet cheeks? Yeah, well, seeing as you were stood behind the amoebas when the brains were being handed out, let me just I'll spell this out for you. You can't get a van up there, can you? The road is too narrow. Actually, yeah, yeah you might have a point. Yeah, was that supposed to be an apology? Come on, you know what men are like, always exaggerating about size. <laughs> you the man in charge, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, blimey. First day on the market, I get attacked by that harpy. Who is she? My sister. Aren't you supposed to be looking after Pearl? She's having a nap and Patrick's with her. I saw Stacey here doing this and I offered to help. And I'm very grateful. The more people that get involved, the better. We want Wolford blooming for Wolford in bloom. <laughs> I, I don't get it. It's called doing your part for the community, Kim. Doing a little bit to, to make the place look nice. Oh, yeah. Secret meetings in the middle of the morning. Poor <laughs> Billy. <laughs> oh, and he's just been helping me, you know, think about what I want. Yeah, from a nanny. Oh. Unless you want a job. Oh, no, I'm hardly Mary Poppins material, am I? Plus, I've got Louis anyway, and my little one. 
I'll tell you what, though, when you do find a nanny, I might sling half her away. She won't notice one more. Uh, who's to say it's a she? Get men doing it now. Manny's? Yeah, well, I don't think I want a bloke. <laughs> Your rook's hanging up like in the old flat. Yeah, I thought she'd at least look around the flat, but oh no, she's got to get back to him. I'm gonna get to you. Right, you two, I'll put your bottom beds up. You wanna see your new bedroom? Yes. yes. Well, if you go up the stairs. You be careful up there. Alright. Well, it's not in here. Well, it's gotta be somewhere. You could just use the grill. No, it don't taste the same. It's too much. I know it would be. You feel better once you've eaten. You're nothing without your toast, are you, Mum? Have we even got any bread? Yeah, it's in that bag from the food bank. Just give me a minute. My sugar levels are all over the gaff. I suppose I'm sleeping on the floor? As far as the council's concerned, you don't even live with us. Well, it's not my fault I can't afford a place of my own. The only way Chantel was able to get her place was getting knocked up. Oh. I'll probably be sleeping on the floor when I'm 40. Not on my floor, you won't. I need to sleep on my floor when I get a floor. I'm going to get a house with loads of bedrooms and a big garden. <laughs> Is this when you win your millions? I can't wait till I'm 17 and I can do the lottery. I can't even afford a lottery ticket. Oh, you're always moaning, you. Have you seen my life? Oh, you do me nothing. Moan, moan, moan. You should have told the council you needed more bedrooms. You don't care, do you? Don't you speak to me like that. I took you in, didn't I? I made a plaque for this, you know, to say that I helped. Maybe they renamed the gardens after you. You think? <laughs> Kimberly Gardens. <laughs> Louise, please say something. You've got me so worried and I've got my exam. Louise! Whatever it is, I can help. No, you can't. I've already told you, no one can. Why does he always have to be hanging around here? Oi! You stay away from these plants, do you hear me? What are you gonna do? Hit me again. Where you been? I had to do everything. All right, chill out. I told you before, no one walks away from me. Go and see your father, see if he wants you. Same goes for you. Where was you all night? Mates. Yeah? You think you got out of it all, do you? Well, we ain't bought any of your stuff. All your nasty dragon. Well, you left Rooney. Rooney's upstairs. We brought him. Yeah, I would have served you right if we hadn't brought him. No. That creepy thing always staring at yeah? me. Yeah? We should he leave you in be. the old flat. And all have a cheer when it blows up with you inside. Yes, I'm here and say that. Come on. Get here. It's them. Who? Oh. The ones that live next to Joni. The ones that give her a nervous breakdown. Upstairs. Keegan, get Bronson. Come. 
What are you looking at? Bex. Bex, he's moved in. 